For the first time, charges have been filed in connection with the lead contamination in Flint's water supply. And as Jay Gray shows us, Attorney General Bill Schutte announced the charges with a warning that more will come. And I am going to arraign you now, Mr. Bush, on the six counts that are before the court. Two state environmental officials, Stephen Bush and Michael Prisby, along with Michael Glasgow, the man who ran the Flint Water Treatment Facility, now face criminal charges, which include misconduct, neglect of duty, and tampering with evidence. They had a duty to protect the health of families and citizens of Flint. They failed. Residents in Flint haven't had clean water since April of 2014, when, to save money, the city began using the Flint River as the source for its water supply. An initial test months later showed elevated levels of lead. Still, officials insisted the water was safe despite a warning from the EPA and data from doctors that showed alarming levels of lead in children's blood. Someone needs to be held accountable for what has taken place. We'll go wherever the truth takes us. And Michigan's attorney general says more employees will face charges as the investigation continues. Michigan Governor Rick Snyder continues to try and reassure residents vowing to drink Flint's filtered tap water for the next 30 days. But many in the city worry about the effects of lead in their water, which could last a lot longer.